see it. Dead hawk walking. Ooh, what's up everybody? Blue Gabe, check that out. I definitely didn't need it, sorta of got convinced into buying it. Took Kelly Young, who's behind the camera, to go dial in her new bow that Robert and Sarah give her, a bow tech. And while I was at the bow shop yesterday, the salesman talked me into buying this new Hoyt Carbon RX Ultra 4. Pretty expensive, had to tap into my piggy bank, but you know what, I've been working hard for the last year, really haven't spoiled myself and said I'm buying a new bow. This is the first new bow I've had in seven years. I used to always buy a new one, but you know what? My last bow was really, really, really nice and I loved it for seven years. Probably could still keep shooting it. We're out here at Deer Meat for Dinner's Ranch. My brother, Robert Arrington. All I've done thus far is sighted the bow into 20 yards. My sight is a HHA. It's good from zero to 120, but I only have the 20 yard pin set because I don't have my new arrows yet. So. If the hog's farther than 20 yards tonight, we're not going to shoot. Well, maybe. If he's 30 yards or less, I'm shooting. Farther than that, I'm not going to shoot because I don't have my sight set up yet. Watch this, though. This bow is supposedly really, really fast. Anytime you're wanting to shoot an animal, you want to shoot him right behind the shoulder. Almost touched arrows. But can you all smell that? Ribs on the grill. All right, give me a second. Put your Crocs in four-wheel drive and come on. They're, yeah, I'm working on it. My pants are gonna get wet. Oh, man. So on my channel, I've never really done this. I've never done an archery hunt, and I've definitely not talked about archery. Anytime you're shooting any kind of an animal with a bow, it's best to find their shoulder area and shoot them right behind the shoulder, about mid-body. That's right where their lungs are. You can heart shoot them, but they won't go near as far if you shoot them through the lungs because then they can't breathe. If you heart shoot a hog, he can go through these palmettas a long ways. I can't wait to get this. Well, I can't wait to get this sight set up. This is the same sight that I had on my original bow. Oh, it's so nice. It's got a pendleton right here, which means you can turn it. And that sight, you won't be able to see. I'll show you in the next video that I do, because by then it'll be set up. You have numbers right here, and if it's 60 yards, you turn it to 60. Let's shoot two more times. All right, so yesterday we were at Spurlow's Archery, which is in like uh, Lake Wales, frostproof. The owner, Dave, taught me a new way to hold my bow. So hold my fingers right here, but don't put any force on them. So I got my fingers, and you see I'm barely doing anything. That's so I don't grab the bow and torque it. And then he has me touching my nose to the string just like that. That's a dead hog all day. Even twice on Sunday. Let's see what this one will do though. That bear is what, 10 yards farther? Yeah, it should be. Let's see if I can hit the bear. Ooh, that bow is fast. All right, so I only have a 20 yard pin, like I said earlier. We just shot at 30 yards, dead bullseye. I now wanna shoot at 40, but by doing that, I gotta raise up about a foot to make sure I don't lose this arrow. Now I'm not gonna shoot an animal at 40 yards, but I do wanna practice real quick. Ooh, I'd have broke his back. That's why you don't shoot an animal unless you have the correct pin. I just guessed and I guessed completely wrong. I would have killed that if it was a hog. I would have broke its back, but that ain't the humane thing to do. Y'all check out Jake driving my brand new truck into the ranch right now. We just got flooded. Y'all watch this. Jake, yeah? you're washing the truck if you're driving like this. This, this it's, our, it's being washed right now. It what? Being washed right now. Woo! Oh my gosh! Hey, what? Hey, roll out the window. <laughs> what do they say in the hangover? How about that ride in? <laughs> For real, Jake. We're causing a fountain. Yeah, like a monsoon up here. 
Dear Meat's gonna have to get boats out here. We should have brought the airboat. Oh, that would have been sick. Jake, this is a brand new truck. <laughs> well, you drive too slow. I bet that. All right, so we just got done practicing. There's my practice arrow. And these are the three that I'm gonna hunt with. That's a hypodermic, two blade rage. I've got the original two blade rage and one old one from last year. So we're gonna get my arrows right, get my broadheads right, check everything, get on the swamp buggy and take a ride out there. Jake, look, yeah. at, you, look at the camera and tell your fans how fun that was doing that to my truck. It was fun. <laughs> What is that in your hands? New pellet gun. What do you plan on shooting with it? Squirrels. Oh. Squirrels? Break down the thing, put the bullet right there. Oh, good oh. shot. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Did he hit it? Yeah, you got it. That's because his daddy taught him how to shoot. <laughs> uh, not so sure about that. Uh oh. <laughs> what do you mean, not sure? Who taught you then? I'm better than you at it. Uh oh. You sound like your Uncle Robert. Well, it's true. <laughs> Leave a comment below if your kids always think they can outdo you. Well, I did, just did, so. Uh-huh. Look what old dad just did. Did you hit the bullseye? Yeah, I hit the bullseye. <laughs> no, you didn't hit it. It's right Come over Come on, it. folks at home. Come on, folks That's at right home. That's right over it. My first shot was right here. No, this was my shot. And then I just hit right this, there. That's my shot, Dad. You're, you, uh, that's my you've shot. You've been eating too many palmetto berries. That, no, that's my shot right there. But who hit the bullseye? That's you. This is me, and this is your first shot. No, this is my second shot, and that's all that counts. Yeah, but... All right, let's see. Yep, no. Yep, no. What? I beat you on that one. Hold up. Where'd it go? I ain't even sure if you hit the, the target. Yes, yeah. I did. <laughs> I don't think she hit the target. Though. Well, then your sight's wrong because I hit it. Uh, the sight's totally wrong. Right, Come on, one more. I just drank a bunch of caffeine. Doesn't help. All right, one last thing before we start hunting. Danko Pliers, I'll have the link below, is running a breast cancer awareness program called Think Pink. Everything they have on the website that's in pink, if you use promo code Think Pink, you'll be able to save 25%. That means you you literally pay next to nothing for these awesome products, and they just came out with them. Look at that, beautiful pliers. I have another set in my truck that's a little bit different. This awesome flay knife that you've seen me use a ton of times. Huge shout out to Danko for even wanting to do something as awesome as doing a give back to breast cancer awareness. Everything you need to know will be in the link below. Now let's go hunting. Here, Jake. Pick it up and over. Where'd you get this guy? Brand new. All right, Jordy volunteered. He's gonna drive us to the stand. Then we're gonna get out and walk. aren't there because the water's deep and we're gonna make so much noise and as you can see I got an army coming with me
I center punch that off. He's dying right there. He felt that one. He felt that one. Jordy just said he felt that one. I wanted to shoot the bigger one, but the bigger one I think was at 40 yards and I wasn't really comfortable. So I shot the smaller one that was right there. That's pretty hard to walk up here with four grown people. Well, three and a half. Walk up and spot and stalk hogs. I don't even care if they're out of feeder. The little ones are more tender. The what? The little ones are more tender. You got that right. All right, so I put it right on his shoulder, just a hair back behind him. I think he went 60 yards. All right, well, we decided with our luck that we've been having with videos lately, we're not going to wait on another one. We're going to try to find our arrow, get this hog, and get back and clean it while it's still daylight. Mm. Rage tripan. Is this the one you wanted me to shoot? Yeah. Jordy said, yeah. Hey, Jordy killed him. A buck in South Florida the other day, bigger than I've ever killed. And you ain't been hunting for, what, two or three years? About four years now, yeah. Four years. Whacked him a big old giant. He said, shoot that rage tripan. They'll do damage. Done dealing. Let's go find the hog. Here. Why is it that you chillins... It feels good. ...feel like getting so dirty? Like... I mean, listen to this. <laughs> it feels good. Leave a comment below if you have to do laundry four times a day like I do. I swear to you, between Kelly and those two boys, Luke and Jake, I do more laundry than most prisons do. I'm pretty sure I've done the last seven loads. Well, that was because I did the 14 before. Of your child, children's. Man, yours. I get your underwear hung up. Her her <laughs> underwear get hung up in the Velcro in this. I'm like, what is this? It looks like a little slingshot. <laughs> Yep. One of these days, my son Jake will be able to do what I'm about to do. But for right now, I'll be the one that does it. Oh, you're going to go in and get it? Son, we'll go, go get it then. Don't crawl through the blood, though. Let me just take the fans along with us on this little ride. Oh, oh, right on the, oh, oh no, on the nads. Hold on, hold on. Oh no, on the nads. Dude, hold on. Just hurry. <laughs> you done got yourself good here. You oh, gotta no. lean towards the fence. Oh, there you no. go. Oh my God. We needed one of those TK and Mike Nad Saver Supremes. Oh my God. You didn't have a Nad Saver Supreme? Uh, this is why I do all the. You simply place your Nad Saver Supreme over the fence and cross with ease. That was great. That was your